Alright, ready? Alright, since 2015, marijuana has become the fastest growing industry in the U.S. If marijuana becomes legal in all 50 states, the industry will become larger than the organic food market. Marijuana is legal in some U.S. states, including Colorado, Washington, Oregon, and Alaska. It is medically legal in 25 states and decriminalized in 20 states. My purpose today is to persuade you to be in favor of the legalization of marijuana. I'm going to be presenting three arguments and details to support my arguments. So, next slide. My first argument that I'm going to be presenting to you guys will be that marijuana has a lot of medical benefits. So. My second argument is that marijuana can prevent people from using other drugs and stronger drugs. And my last argument that I'll be talking about will be that marijuana can actually help the economy of the United States. So let's go with my first argument, which is the medical benefits of marijuana. Marijuana can be used to treat glaucoma. It can help control epilepsy seizures. It also decreases the symptoms of severe seizure disorder known as Dravis syndrome. CBD and THC may also prevent cancer from spreading. It may decrease anxiety. THC can also slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Marijuana also helps vet veterans suffering from PTSD. All this information I have acquired from businessinsider.com. So a lot of people say that marijuana has a lot of side effects that it can give you throat and even lung cancer. But there still has not been a reported case that has proven that marijuana has caused this type of cancer. There is a lot of ways that you can extract the TAC and the CBD, such as oils and other forms. So you can consume these chemicals in different ways, such as oils, and that way you don't have to directly smoke it that can cause these side effects. So, let's move on to my second um, argument. Next slide. Marijuana should be legalized because it can prevent the usage of another stronger drug. It has been proven that users are to be more relaxed than any other drug users that use cocaine, heroin, and another prescription drugs. In fact, cannabis is increasingly being recognized as a tool to help addicts get off of dangerous drugs. Scientific studies have tested that this gateway drug theory and found it impossible, or at least difficult, if not impossible, to prove that a marijuana puff will not lead you directly to a needle straight to your arm. All this information I have acquired from Leafly.com. So, a lot of people say that once you start using one drug, it will lead to another, to like a harder drug. But that gateway theory hasn't been proven yet. There's a lot of factors that play, and those factors actually do not involve marijuana. Factors will be like poverty and poor social environment. Those are kind of gateways to use drugs. Association with people that use harder drugs is another gateway to use another strong drug. Criminalization and prohibition are really gateways to harder drugs. So, that's it. That's it. So, this is going to be my final argument about the legalization of marijuana. So, I'm going to be talking about how it will help the economy of the United States. In 2015, Colorado grabbed more than one. 135 million in taxes and other fees on medical and recreational marijuana. Next slide. Sales in the state total over to 996 million dollars. Sales of North America grew 30 percent to 6.7 million in 2016, and is projected to increase 21 point million by 2021, setting up marijuana nurseries and dispensaries to be the first step in making new jobs. All this information I got from New Frontiers Report. A lot of people say that legalization of marijuana will not bring new jobs. But 
there's not much that we can do until the rights are actually approved. So the nationwide organization is going to expand new horizons for this first, you know, fast growing industry. Workers will be needed to farm, process, distribute, and sell marijuana based products. All this process requires different companies that will have different tasks to create and build these new jobs. And then I have covered all my arguments in the organization of marijuana, which are the medical benefits, the prevention it gives you to try other drugs, and how it will help the economy of the United States. I hope I have persuaded you in favor of like the legalization of marijuana and that you have learned about of what the future of this fast growing industry will provide for us and the United States. And I'm gonna leave you here with this positive quote by Tony Robbins which says, stop being afraid of what can go wrong and start being excited of what can actually go right. Thank you for your time. Thank you.